hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to discuss regarding digital design in cadence so i am going to design a counter a 4 bit counter the design is an asynchronous up counter and also a down counter the code of the counter and its test bench has been written earlier with also the constraint that is sdc file and i have saved in the folder so you have the first one is counter uh, sdc file the next one is uh, the verilog file which holds the program that is the code of the counter and the third one is the test bench right click and open terminal there type csh then source home install csh rc so that i can open the license of virtuoso that is cadence tool so type virtuoso wait until the cadence is invoked close the cadence that is cds log file as i have typed the code earlier itself i'll just try to show you how to type a new code so to type a new code type vi space the program name dot v so type the complete code to edit press insert that is i and type the required code so already i have typed so save to save it shift q and w q enter to check the syntax we use the command i run program name dot v that is counter dot v press enter you will get the errors if there are any errors debug the errors next check the errors in test bench i run counter underscore tb dot v that is test bench name dot v so here comes the result once it is done we need to see the simulation results for that nc launch minus new will be the command take single step execution click on the test bench and click the button beside tools that is run in the simulation vision window click on the test bench name right click on it select send to waveform window wait for a while and here just click on run and click the equals button that is equalizer button so that we can see the complete waveform here so here is your simulation results which shows the down counting so here is the down counting and here comes the reset up counting close all the window except the uh, terminal window now to open the rtl compiler we know that we are using genus so type genus and click on enter wait until the genus tool or genus synthesizer is opened we need to invoke or we need to read three different files here the first one is library file then hdl file and then the sdc file which we have written so to read the library files so we use the command read underscore libs and the location of the library file which is saved so in the system it is in home install foundry digital 90 nanometer digit uh, 90 nanometer digit library sorry lib and uh, slow dot lib is the one which we are using here once it is done now let us read the hdl file which is read underscore hdl the counter dot v so counter dot v is the experiment name which we are what we are doing so just click type it and enter next step is to elaborate the design so we directly write the command elaborate yes once it is done read sdc file read sdc 
So what is the SDC file? Counter dot SDC. Here is your SDC file, and SDC file has been completely successfully read. The next step is to set the attributes. So the very first is synthesize generic efforts should be set to medium efforts. So the command is so set underscore db synthesize generic efforts medium set underscore db synthesize map efforts to medium. This is mainly used for optimization that is a set db synthesize opt effort to medium. Once the efforts are set to medium the next step is to set the synthesize design. So for that we use synthesize generic. This creates an technology independent optimization. The next one is a synthesize map. So this is a global mapping uh, command where genus maps the generic gate level netlist to the technology library cells. And the next command is incremental synthesis. So this is sync opt. So this step primarily performs more advanced timing optimization, area optimization and fix any uh, fix any of the DRC violations are there. So for all these three the efforts we are selecting is medium effort. Now coming to the last part, last part is to verify the results. So that is to check the reports. To check the reports we are checking four reports here one is area, timing, gates and power dissipation. So you can see just type report area. So this is the area report what we are getting. Next is report power. So in the above screen it is clearly visible like what is the cell count when we consider the area and what is the total area that is required and in power dissipation you can clearly see the uh, what is leakage power what is the dynamic power and what is the total power consumption of the counter next is uh, report gates so it gives the total count that is how many gates are used and which are the different gates that we are using here that you can see it here so here comes so this gives us the clear uh, picture of how many gates and what is its area next is timing constraint so report timing so this is the timing constraint in this we can see the setup time uncertainty time required the uh, data part time slack and also in the ta table you can uh, see the delay arrival time and you can also verify what is fan out for each individual cells. The next is to check the netlist. To check the netlist just type write underscore hdl greater than netlist dot v. So this directly displays the netlist on your screen that is on the terminal window. If you want to write it in a separate uh, file you can also do it. So the next is to verify the schematic of the counter type GUI underscore show and here click on, right click on hierarchy cell and schematic in the main view. So here is your schematic view. You can zoom it to verify each and every block and which are all the wires that are connected. Yes, so this completes the digital design part according to the prescription of VTU. So from the timing analysis we can calculate the critical path can be calculated and maximum frequency can also be calculated. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.